one right away because every time I try to remember it, I start to forget it and I know it's going to go away. So this one has to do with somebody who has to tell someone something. So um, this, it felt like a man to me needed to tell a woman something that he's been hiding from her or keeping from her. I don't know if it was necessarily like something horrible, but whatever it is, it is karmic. So if it's not told or said or dealt with, it's going to keep on coming back in a different form or, and this is eating away at this man. Like this man knows he has to say this to this woman, whatever it is. Um, and I, do I feel like it's cheating or something? I'm not sure it's anything like that, but it's something important and it has to do with, um, the reason I feel like, um, it's very important it's part of the journey is it feels very karmic meaning uh these two people um are soulmates in some way yes karmics are our soulmates as well so this man has to speak up and say something to this woman now it could be the other way around where the woman has to say something to the man but i strongly feel like it's a man who has information he has to give to this woman and he knows he has to do this like it's part of his journey here in this world to come to her and say something that he needs to say and give her some kind of information. I don't know if it's something he did or something about something, this, whatever it is, it's important for her to know this information and he knows this and it's karmic. So it's eating away at him and it will continue to eat away at him till he actually does this. This is part of their journey here to do this, whatever it is, it's important. So anyway, I don't know what this is. It's going to be different for each of you, I, I would assume, because I wasn't given any more information than that. So now on the lines of that, there's another channeled message that came in about somebody who needs to tell someone how they feel about them. And this also felt like a man, but it could be a woman. Um, um, but, or it could be another man, right? So this feels like someone who has to tell someone about their feelings for them. This feels like love, okay? So that, it's really a simple, and for some of you, they were both together. Like this person had to tell her something that was important, but it, it wasn't that, but they also wanted to tell her that. So for some of you, this is um, a two-part um message for that particular group or for some of you they're two separate messages for different groups okay i hope that makes sense all right so there was another message that came through and i could see a cage and it looked like you know it you know what you would see a, a, a jail cell on a cartoon or in a kid's toy would be just the bars you know in a little square that's what it looked like to me and there was um, somebody in it it looked like a man um, but it could have been a woman but, um, you know, the visuals, it was a man, but that doesn't mean it had to be a man, okay? So, in other words, a woman could feel this way, too. So, all these visuals and all these in, these messages I'm getting could be for anyone. So, if you feel like they're for you, but I'm saying it felt like a man, it, for 99% of you, it could have been a man, but for 1% of you, it could have been a woman, right? So, keep that in mind. So, Spirit's going to send the visual that I need to give out to the majority, all right, so anyway, and sometimes it's just a visual, you know, you do with it what you will and place it where you will in your life. So anyway, this was someone who felt very stuck in something and the truth was it was an internal stuckness more than an external stuckness. Now for 1% of you, I think somebody is in prison, but that's for like 1% and they are stuck and they want to come out because I think that they... Um, I don't know. They're, they have something to do when they get out and it has to do with, I feel it's love. I really do. Okay. So, um, that was just the 1%, but for the majority of this 99% of the people who I saw this, this little jail cell thing for, this is an internal stuckness. This is not external. The external is that you've stayed in something way too long. The external part of this is that you have kept yourself stuck in some way because you refuse to get unstuck because you're not doing the internal work. Um, and you could be doing a lot of internal work and going, yeah, I am, I am, I am, but I need those karmic cords cut. The only way you're going to get those karmic cords cut is to walk away and don't look back I mean that's it if you're that stuck and can't get out um, and this has been something that's been going on and on and on you're just gonna have to do it it's all you can do is no text no calls no looking back it's like lighting the match and throwing it behind you and that is very metaphoric that's not something you physically do it's just like that's the way you got to picture it like I'm walking away from this and I'm gonna visualize this whole thing blown up behind me like I can't go back that's the way to get 
forward movement in whatever this is because whatever this is for the majority of you you've kept yourself stuck in it by being um i want to say weak and i'm not saying that you're weak people at all please god forgive me for even insinuating it no you're strong people it's not that it's just that this is your kryptonite this is your weakness okay so you this is the thing you've got to conquer that's why you're here that's why it's karmic because you came to conquer it the only way to conquer it is to actually conquer it which means you can't use excuses you're going to have to bust free from it and move forward full speed ahead and not look back that's the only way you're going to bust free from this karmic thing that we're talking about for each of you it's going to be different you're going to know it because right now you're getting triggered by it okay by me just mentioning it talking about it you want to like knock me out for calling you weak or stuck i get it you're getting triggered if you're getting triggered right now you are the main people i'm talking to so the whole thing comes down to that cage will lift the minute you actually heal from the within the external will be easier so when you internally agree that it's time for you to heal let go and solve this karmic uh, contract that you have and cut those ties when you do it don't expect someone to come in and do it for you you got to do it when you've done that and you've walked away and you've tossed that metaphoric match behind you and boom i'm done with that cycle i'm done with those people i'm done with that situation i'm done i'm done i'm done whatever it is you'll know what it is because it's going to be different for each of you so place it where you will and you have literally walked away that is cage off done cycle over and you are free that's freedom like this bird right here okay peace this does say peace on it I, you can't really see it all but um that's your peace that's your freedom that's your cage being obliterated um okay so that was number two and number three is it's a deep one um number three has to do with another youtuber there's another a youtuber out there who somebody said something to them or did something to them to trigger them and now they are trying to prove themselves by coming on youtube very um scandalous like sexy and skimpy clothing maybe even bathing suits i saw a lot of skin so i don't know if they're coming out in daisy dukes you know some kind of short shorts and and crop tops or whether they're coming out in an actual bikini or short skirts or something lots of makeup on oh god lots of makeup especially like really big bright bright lips and hair all i could see was hair and lips everywhere and a lot of makeup caked on and skimpy skimpy clothes lots of skin and spirit is um trying to get you to stop doing that because this was a trigger for you this was a karmic thing somebody said something um that triggered you i don't know if they bullied you or said something and you went into or they went into i don't know if we know who this person is i don't even know what community this person's a part of so in other words they're probably not even watching this but whoever they are maybe one of you can pass this on maybe one of you is interested in something else out there on youtube and you know who this is and maybe they are part of the spiritual community i have no idea and maybe one of you watches this person they're also being watched by bottom feeders this is people who are not in the highest good because they are looking at them because of all the skin and makeup and hair that they're the thing that they're doing to come out and look sexy every day now they did this because they were triggered they did this because someone bullied them i feel like this person you will know this person because they will have been more subdued before more proper more um i want to say more earthy and now they're coming out almost like i am um, hookerish i want to say hookerish um in one of my visuals they even had on lingerie which i find crazy like um there was lingerie like somebody actually coming out in lingerie on youtube to do their channel and this is not like this is not like an instagram model or anything this is somebody who has a productive channel on youtube who does you know something i don't know if they do i don't know what they do but anyway but just because they were triggered by bullies or or someone who said something about their appearance their hair their makeup their clothing something and they're also getting off on this so this person not only got triggered karmically but they're karmically being fed um 
they're on an ego trip. Like everybody thinks I'm sexy now. Everybody thinks I'm this. Everybody like they're feeding off that and they're coming on and these bottom feeders are like, oh, you look so sexy. Oh, you look so beautiful. Oh, you. these people are st stalkers uh, watching this person in all their skin and stuff hanging out and um, they mean them harm. Um, some of these people I strongly feel are trying to find out where they live or already know where they live as well. So I'm very nervous for whoever this is. Um, they need to cover up. Uh, they're strongly being um, urged to cover up stuff the sexy because you need to get rid of the bottom feeders off your channel. Um, they need to go and the only way to get rid of them is stop being like their visual pleasure and not only that I also got the visual of them pleasuring themselves watching the channel so I'm, I'm so sorry I hate saying this to you guys but something's going on and it could be dangerous it could be very dangerous especially since I've been sent it to, to deliver the hardest part about these when I get these warning type trigger type um messages is I don't know who to give them to so the only thing I can say is I pray somebody out there knows who this is for and gives them the message I mean I don't know um or just comment to me and let me know if you think you know who this is um whoever it is they're drawing in really a bad crowd and I don't mean their whole crowd I mean there's people that are um turned on by what they're doing and they could have even been the people that bullied them in the first place, you know, which that's even scarier because that just shows how psychotic these people are. And they might do this to a lot of people. This might not be just one person, but I'm getting it strongly for someone who was very, I don't know, almost very professional before and now is acting out in a very karmic -y kind of skin showing lots of hair and makeup and lips the lips are so like painted on so I mean that's the thing I'm being shown the most hair and lips and hair and lips and skin lots of skin and skimpy clothes uh, lingerie uh, ski, lots of short short everything and I see like I see skin like um chest belly everything so I feel like I mean it's almost as if this person's wearing so very little um even on camera like this is all on camera and not only that this person is letting these people into their private domain see how this is all I show this is all you know about my home where I live anything this person is allowing p stalkerific people into their domain into their life they're figuring out where they live they're finding out information they're I don't know how they're you know learning these things but they are and these people um, some of these people might live close to this person and know the area or know, you know, I don't know. I don't know what they're showing exactly, but I do see private parts of their home, like showing in the videos. Like I even see just, it, it seems to me like very, um, intimate stuff being shown on these videos, but that's not what their video's about. You know, it's not, their videos are just general videos. Like they're, they're, they have a channel that's based on something. I just don't know what it is. So, um, I hope that someone does know. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they're getting off in some way, you know, they're feeding their ego after their ego was crushed by somebody who said some mean things. And that's sad. Um, and this is a very karmic type of a test type thing. And um, they're being asked to basically cover up, cover up. There's people um, that aren't good watching your channel. All right. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps someone. Um, now, listen, if this is, don't get triggered by this. The people that this is not for, don't get triggered. Because this is specifically going to be someone who was triggered by something people said and then they just they just turned from like um okay so this is somebody who went from librarian catholic schoolgirl to um i don't i don't want to say the town slut but somebody who was very you know all of a sudden it's like you know the video hot for teacher you know <laughs> like the the bun came out and and the clothes came off <laughs> And they started 
feeding their ego through their YouTube channel and through hearing feedback. Their ego's being fed by people saying, oh, you look so pretty. Oh, you look so sexy. Oh, you look so hot. Oh, you look, this stuff's feeding and feeding and feeding their ego. This is all karmic. Anyway, so let me know, guys, if you know who and what this is and if this is, I mean, I'd love to find out because, well, it's not going to be easy for someone to hear this, but it's better than being, you know, what could happen if these stalker people continue and find out where they live, what they do, follow them, you know, anything. That scares me a lot. Okay, so let me know, guys, if you know anything about what I'm talking about. It's all very cryptic, and I'm hoping that I was given the message so that somebody knows who this is and can help them. Okay, talk to you soon. And if I can help them in any way, please let me know. Okay, bye.